Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome back. Brandon again in my car, about to leave my girlfriend's house to go to the gym. It's about 8.30 on Sunday. We have some squat work, some bench work as well. As part of that, on my way, I'm going to be consuming two chocolate peanut butter Pop-Tarts. It's not necessarily because I think these are the best things ever. It's only because I need something in my body. I need some kind of food, some kind of energy source. This is quick and easy for me right now. It's gonna end up being like 400 calories and like 60 to 70 grams of carbs, but it's not gonna really mess with my stomach. So you never wanna have a little bit of an upset stomach before you go and do leg day, not to mention when you're doing a lot of big compound movements, it's probably gonna take me an hour and a half to work out. Ideally, I would have had some kind of meal beforehand, but this will work for now, at least I hope it will. We'll know when we get it, take a look at the clip, so let's get to it. All right, another day of BBSM, another day of back squats. And Sunday is just a little bit different in the aspect where any other time we do back squats during the week on this program, it's to work up to a heavy single. However, on Sundays, we work up to heavy doubles. So as far as the progress goes on these sets, my goal has been now to just get a little bit more than last time. So last week when I did this, I worked up to a heavy double of 470. So my goal this time is to work up to a high double of 475. Now the reason I'm doing it this way, just because when I was just really trying to shoot for the star, so to say, I had some issues where I had a little bit of failure, a little bit early in the program in my opinion. I don't mind failing necessarily, but ideally I won't want to do that till later in the program when weights get extremely heavy. So that's the goal, 475 for two. You saw my first warm up set of 410 for two, then jumped up to 440 for two before jumping to 475 here. So even though I am making some progress on the high bar, it's still nowhere close to my low bar. And that's coming from someone who used to squat high bar exclusively up to around 18 months ago. And although I was seeing some good gains, I only really got to around 405 or so and wasn't really able to break that plateau or plateau if you're Chris Jones, shout out to Physiques of Greatness. And it wasn't really until I switched to low bar that I started to see some really good gains. And again, even though I'm happy with the progress I'm seeing here on high bar again, I'm really looking forward to switching back to low bar and seeing how this strength really transfers over. Now, once we hit that heavy double of 475, the goal was to drop it 15% and hit five sets of three. You'll notice here it takes some time for me to actually descend, so I sit there and really get stabilized, and I really suggest you do this too, only because I see a lot of people who unrack the bar, take two steps back, and just drop right down in the hole. And maybe this is more of a mindset thing for you, but what I've found is if I'm not completely 100% stabilized, it really throws off my overall set, and I found my sets really improve to making sure I get set accordingly. Now from there, we moved on to bench press, and the first exercise up was pause competition style bench, three to four sets of five reps with 270 pounds. I'm only showing you the first set here because the weight stayed static, but I ended up doing four sets of five for 275. After that, we moved on to dumbbell work, and the goal here is just to do around four sets of as heavy of weights as possible, and Dan gives you a rep range here of anywhere between six to 15, so it's really vague and leaves it up to you. Last week I used 100s and did 15, and then 12, and then 12, and then 10, I think? Not 100% sure. This week I bumped the weight up to 110 pounds and just did four sets of 10. Felt pretty good. I don't do a ton of dumbbells, but I'm glad with this progress that I'm seeing here only because this is pretty heavy for me in my opinion and getting four sets of 10 was great for me. We then moved on to four sets of dumbbell flies, four sets of 10 in this case at least. And I typically go lighter on these just because my chest and shoulders really start feeling it now and flies are something where I see a lot of people potentially get injured. So I wanna make sure that I just slowly work my weight up. So you'll notice just each week I increase the weight slightly. And again, if you want to see the actual numbers and all the sets, you can always check on Fitocracy, which I link below in every single video in the description box. So four sets of 10 with 42.5 pound dumbbells. So that brings us on to the last exercise for today, which is four sets of 10 of dips. For this, it's kind of the same mindset as with my incline flies. So I just increase the weight each week. In this case, we're up to 55 pounds, doing four sets of 10. You see these little bumps in my elbow, especially my right one. That's from when I fell on the ice, if you remember that vlog video. I think I chipped something in my elbow because that hole's been there ever since. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.